in November. It's November of 2018. And what we see here, looking just off the coast of Malibu, we're just about at your, the bottom of Yerba Buena Road here on the edge of PCH. And we see this very large squid fleet. So our most, uh, in terms of the number of individuals harvested, in terms of the gross poundage of seafood landed in California, our squid fishery is number one, or, or always close to number one, for the past many years. So these guys are going out in these boats that have these very large lights. And that's what we're seeing right here at sunset. So they've activated these lights. The squid are phototactic, so they're gonna swim towards the light. So the squid are attracted to these lights. So the, these, these lights are essentially mimicking the moon. Uh, and uh, these guys are gonna deploy hooks and they're gonna capture the squid. In this case, mostly we're talking Lalago market squid. And there's some deep, uh, deep, deep canyons, deep ravines right here off of this section of Malibu, sort of the northwestern section um, of the Malibu coast. And these guys love to park off here. Um, there are great squidding grounds off of Catalina and elsewhere, but this is one of the, in recent years in particular, the most sort of tried and true places where these squid boats can come in and get catch at this time of year. Right now we have some wonderful sunsets uh, thanks to the Hill and Woolsey fires. They're still actively burning behind us on the hills, but that hasn't stopped the squid, hasn't stopped the fishing effort, hasn't stopped California's ravenous appetite for squid. Now if we can only figure out how to actually process and prep this squid here in California as opposed to shipping it across to China to be processed and then shipped back for us for eating, uh, we'll be all set. Everybody should go out and have some wonderful calamari, a relatively sustainable harvest here off the California coast, in this case off of the Malibu coast in Southern California.